Hello everyone. Um, we've just parked in Bournemouth. We had to drop Maria off at her friend's. She's got a friend here that lives here um, and she's stopping the night. And then because my mom lives here, she's staying at my mom's for another couple of nights because she loves it at my mom's. Um, so me and Maya have just come here and we're going to go to the cat cafe that's here. Um, we've never been before, so I will vlog it and um, show you what it's like in case you guys are live in the area or live close and you want to um, pop and see it. And um, I'll catch up with you after. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start over new Yeah I'm on my way now in the winter is at home in my dressing gown. Um, today was so, so lovely. If you are ever in the Bournemouth area or you live by it, I definitely recommend you go uh, to that cat cafe. My little girl absolutely loved it. As you know, we love cats because we've just got our own. So I think that inspired us a little bit. But when we first got there, there was even a queue before it opened. Um, a lot of people that work there are volunteers so they have like um learning difficulties things like that so you may have to wait a little bit longer but it was it was lovely um a little bit expensive the kids have a kids menu which is nice you get a sandwich a drink maybe i think that's it but that's five pound but the adults menu they were charging like eight pound for like beans on toast and things so i didn't have anything to eat i had a cappuccino which i have to say that was really nice and uh, Maya had 
macaroni and cheese but they're a vegan and vegetarian restaurant so it was vegan cheese and I didn't I wasn't sure she'd like it but she said it didn't taste any different and she had a milkshake shake which I actually loved and I bought her you may have seen they do like little merchandise and they had like these little badges with all the different cats that are in the restaurant on there so we got them but it was so nice they had 11 different cats they said they did used to have 12 but one died and um they're all rescue and the one that uh, you'd have seen it in my video there was one white cat and that was the only one you couldn't stroke and that was the one that was just so tempting it was like right by you and you just wanted to stroke it apparently it scratched someone once or something so they couldn't risk it but you could just you you go in you make your order and then you can just go around you have an hour and you can just go and stroke the cat it's really therapeutic and honestly it's like a cat's paradise. They've got everything there. Like I tried to film as much as I could, but oh, they were so lovely. But it's, it's definitely worth it. But if you do have children under 13, you have to book, there's only two tables you can book and the two specific tables, which I don't really understand why. I couldn't really fathom that out when I was there, but that was their rules. So um, yeah, I think there is other places as well. I'm sure that Edinburgh does a dog like a chihuahua cafe. I think they're popping up everywhere now. I think this is quite popular. Um, I know a lot of children with um, autism and learning difficulties and things love this sort of thing. So maybe that's why it's quite popular as well because they love animals, don't they? And they find them calming to be around. So they are definitely popping up everywhere. So if you've got one in your area, just Google it. But it, it is worth going. But I found it really hard to vlog this half term because my children don't want to be on the camera and because I'm with them all week, it's really difficult. I, I've tried to convince them, but they're just not, I think because they're friends and things, they think they're going to be embarrassed. I don't know what makes them think that their friends are going to watch these videos, but there you go. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's been a short video, but I just thought I'd film it for you in case she was interested. But um, next week, we're all back to the normal vlogs, thank God, because the kids are back. Um, so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't and give me a big thumbs up.